what's up guys welcome to episode 35 of retro buyers guide i'm mike and in this episode we're going to go over a more thorough comparison between rgb video and composite video from retro game consoles in the last episode i showed you how i get rgb video into my hd tv and i showed you some comparison footage this episode is going to be pretty much nothing but comparison footage and show you how much more superior rgb video is over composite Let's start with Super Mario Bros., a classic. First, I'll show video coming from the composite connection of the NES. Pay close attention to Mario's sprite. And here's RGB video from a SCART cable. Notice how clear Mario's sprite is compared to the composite connection. Really, notice how clear everything is. RGB video vastly improves the quality of the picture. Finally, let's take a look at the two side by side. I mentioned in the last episode that an NES modded with RGB video can swap between three different palettes. Let's take a look at those now. Here's the natural palette, the improved palette, and the garish palette. Which one do you like best? Let's check out some more footage of RGB versus composite. Now with this Saturn footage, I wanted to show you that RGB video, while superior in every way, can't work miracles with low resolution video files. And just for fun, here's a PS2 running Kingdom Hearts through a composite connection.
And here's Kingdom Hearts through a component connection. One more. So back before RGB video was really on my radar, I upgraded all of my consoles to an S-Video connection by buying cables for all of them. The Sega Genesis, however, does not natively output S-Video, so I had to send it off and get it modded. What you're looking at right here is S-Video through a Sega Genesis, and while it is much better than a composite connection, RGB video outshines it in every way. One thing about upgrading everything to RGB video is that it can be quite expensive. Each of the cables costs somewhere around $20, and when you factor in the cost of modding consoles and a good scaler, it can get up there. If you're on a budget, I suggest buying S-Video cables for all your retro consoles because that outputs such a better quality picture than composite, and I think if you're gaming on a CRTV or tube television, you'll really like the results. That's going to do it for this episode of Retro Buyer's Guide. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and this is your first time watching this video, please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel. Tell other people about it. I work pretty hard on these videos, and I would love for more people to see them. So uh, thanks again, and uh, I'll be back soon with a new episode. Until then, take care and happy collecting.